Hi guys, Egypt here with another Total War Shogun 2 commentary. Today I am doing another guest cast, this time for Bob the Clown here in the Burgundy versus Clumix on the other side of Rivertown in red and yellow. Remember guys, if you have a good replay and you want it up on the channel here, send it to egyptmeansidiot at gmail.com and I will get it up. So Rivertown here, dominated by that large central hill, always a rush to get up there. And since the players spawn diagonally with that band of trees in between them, it is possible to sneak cavalry back here, which is a gambit you will see Bob's opponent Clemix use with that unit of light cavern, cavalry. So, quick rundown here. Bob's army consisting of three highly veteran units of Bow Ashigaru, the level 5, level 7, level 7. Those are really nicely upgraded. And he is going to protect them with two units of Yari Samurai on the flank and four units of Katana Samurai behind. And then he is sending two units of Yari Cav out to here to cover his flanks as well. Climax rushed up onto this hill here, two units of Yari Cav, two units of Great Guard, and they gained that elevation advantage, and that is huge on this map. This light cavalry back here is still circling around, and Climax is rushing the hill with two units of Bow Warrior Monks, three units of Naginata Samurai, and one unit of Matchlock Samurai. So, Bob having the infantry advantage, but Clemix having the cavalry advantage coming downhill. Big charge here, two units of Great Guards going to crash straight down to the front, one unit of Yari Cav also with them, one unit of Yari Cav coming down here, crashing into Bob's cavalry. I don't know if Bob got the charge bonus, you can see Bob going to take some casualties here, but since this is cavalry, uh, Yari Cavalry, you're going to see pretty heavy casualties for both sides. Over here, Bob able to intercept the units of cavalry with his Yari Samurai. However, Clemix continuing to micro that Great Guard, the two Great Guard units and the one unit of Yari Cav down into the archers. You can see one unit of archers just did shatter and that is really going to hurt. And continuing to micro the Yari Cav and Great Guard further down into the line, he is right deep into two units of Katana Samurai and potentially threatening his general. Actually, definitely threatening the general. A couple of at least one of the Avatar's bodyguard is lost. But the good thing for Bob here is that his Katanas did absorb that charge. They have good morale and they do decent damage against cavalry, especially in prolonged combat. And those Yari Samurai did come down behind him. However, you can definitely see Bob taking some losses here. One unit of Bone Ashigaru completely gone and those are definitely expensive. Over here, this Yari Samurai unit is in pretty good shape, but the other Yari Samurai unit 38 out of 120, two-thirds of the units lost to a cavalry charge. That really says something about the power of Great Guard, especially coming downhill. Some of these Samurai units, uh, third casualties here, lost half that unit of Katana Samurai. So that is definitely going to hurt and help Clemix to make up some of the ground he lost with the, um, with the infantry advantage that Bob has over him. So over here, Bob coming around the flank, he's going to try and kill Clemix's general here which would be a really sweet deal for him however he's not really going to have the forces to win this fight especially with the naginata samurai coming in right behind they have really good armor they're not going to take a lot of losses and they have a fairly decent bonus against cavalry it's not as good as yari samurai however they are a little bit more versatile being somewhat better in hand-to-hand -hand combat up here Bob is not going to engage in any sort of skirmish here. He does not want to get shot by Matchlock Samurai, so he just charges all his units in and is definitely going to catch this unit of Matchlock Samurai out of position and shatter them. Over here you can see that Clemix is going to have to counter charge with everything he has. And another reason Bob didn't want to stick around, look at this. That unit of Bo Ashigar over there shattered by the Archer Warrior Monks. They are just really, really good. And although Bob might have been okay at the beginning, he lost one of his units, so now he knows that he is at an Archer disadvantage, but has an Infantry advantage with most cavalry being neutralized. So he is correctly going to charge in against Climax here. Climax is general micring around inside, still shooting arrows into the fray. But overall, you can see here, Bob has a really nice advantage. He is blobbed up, he, so he doesn't have opportunities for flank charges. However, he has four units of katanas and some Yari Samurai left over versus three units of Naginata Samurai, and that's going to be really sweet because the, sam the Katana Samurai beating the, um, beating the Naginatas in a prolonged combat. And down here you can see 
Clemix's general did get broken by arrow fire from Bob the Clown. So pretty smart allocation of archer forces there. And I'm just going to stop the replay here because it is only going to be a little bit of time until it is completely game over for Clemix here. No general. This unit of light cap, it never materializes. I think he got left over there and they will just break off once these bow warrior monks are knocked out of combat. One thing you can see here that did play a factor, or could have played more of a factor, especially if Clemix had some more infantry, maybe taking less expensive archer units, is that Bob's units were very tired. That is what that orange foot means. The red is exhausted, orange very tired, yellow just straight up tired. And if Clemix had had a little bit more ability to charge and have those units stay fresh by not having got caught up in, a, in an initial combat on that side of the hill there. He could have potentially turned the battle against him. However, Bob doing really well there, recognizing what his disadvantages were versus Clemix's army and taking advantage of every one of those for the victory. So good game to all. And remember guys, Egypt means idiot.